Hey guys, look folk here and welcome to the FIFA 21 video and today guys EA have released in my opinion what is a really really cool objective for Fana from Leicester City who I was hoping was going to be that centre back SPC from a few days ago into Debo with uh, of Nice I think it was who got the SPC but what EA have done is they have actually put him as a free card to be able to get from objectives now does this card look good like better than the than the, uh, than the Tadebo card I'm not too sure but he still looks pretty good for a free card that you could unlock there was no SBC today from EA so we're gonna have a look at this for Fana SBC I might try to work towards him if I like what is required for him because of course the beauty of Cucurella was you could do a lot of it in offline games I'm hoping the same can be applied for Fafana, but I'm not too sure. He'd be great into my team, but I will have to compare him with that Tadebo card to see if he'd be actually worth going for. Uh, of course, Fafana's been playing quite a bit for Leicester City this season, being fantastic for them. I think he might be injured at the moment, I'm not too sure. But anyway, what are the requirements? To get the first 78 rated card, all you have to do is score four goals using French players. Very, very simple. Then assist two goals with the... Okay. Sensor back. Okay. Okay, two assists with a centre-back, standard. Um, at least that can be done in offline. You can do that on beginner difficulty in squad battles at least. If you, if you had to do it in online matches, that would be uh, horrible. Um, but that's very... Okay, I thought that said score. Then win three matches with the 78 um, cards with minimum four French players in your starting squad. Not too bad. Uh, concede no more than one goal in four separate matches with the 78 card to end the 82 rated that as that it will be a CDM position card, the 82 rated, which is pretty cool. Then score three goals. Okay, what's the shooting stats? 62 shooting on the 82 rated card where you have to score three goals. Again, these can be an offline game, which I'm a big, big fan of. You don't have to go through the horribleness of, uh, of you know, of, uh, of foot rivals to complete. So assist four goals in uh, the foot friendlies back. That wasn't with the Cucurella card, was it? And you've got to assist four goals with that CDM version. What was the passing on the CDM version? Only 75. That's going to be horrible. And, like, okay. Uh, assist using the 82 card in six separate matches to end the 84 rated cards. And then win six matches as well with the with the 84 overall cards as well to get another pack. Score eight goals using Premier League players with the 84 cards. There are so many. This card compared to Cucurella is so much more difficult. Like this, like the challenges to be able to complete it are a lot more difficult. Scoring 16 separate matches using French players with the 84 rated cards and play 25 games with Fafana. That'll just be done over time and hopefully within those 25 games you can complete a lot of these other objectives but there's a lot required there to be able to get the Fafana cards and in terms of how he, you know, he looks decent but at, at the same time um, compared to Cucurella who looked pretty good value for time. I don't know how the value for time will be on this Fafana card. I do want to compare him with that Tadebo card that was around about 200,000 coins, I believe, to complete his SBC. And in terms of just like Premier League centre-backs, obviously being French in the Premier League is fantastic because he can link into a lot of good teams. I mean, he can fit into my team perfectly. It's just whether it's going to be worth the time of me actually trying to be able to go towards uh, or towards unlocking him. I do have, of course, Laporte here as well as another French player. His rule breakers card, I'd be interested to see how they compare. I do also want to have a look at the player moment John Stones and how they compare in terms of stats as well. I do have John Stones currently in my club. So, um, I mean, John Stones here, if we get rid of, like, James Muller at the moment. So, like, Fafana does lack in pace a little bit compared to, the, uh, to Debo and, and, you know, and Laporte, but 79 pace is still really, really good. His defending and physicalities are still nice. What well, his in-game stats? So, nice work, right? Good height at six foot three. Yeah, his pace is pretty nice. His, his dribbling as well, like, reactions and composure is good for a centre-back. 90 short passing. He's got really, really good passing stats for a centre-back. His defensive stats, I mean, interception and defensive awareness are a little bit on the lower side for the stage of the game. His strength is fantastic. It's a good card for free. I mean, is Tadebo a better card? Very similar. I mean, Tadebo's better in some areas, like, you know, in, in, in terms of, like, you know, defending and, and, and pace and dribbling, but then lacks in, like, passing and... Um, uh, and, and lacks in physicality a little bit as well. It is a really, really good card. And as you can see, he'd fit perfectly into my team. Uh, and then if I was to have John Stones here as well. So I, I, I'm tempted, but at the same time, there is a lot that has to be done to get that Fofana card. Who, yes, it would be nice to have in the team. But already having to Debo, where I've already put in quite, a, I put in like a good 100,000 coins, or I put in a lot of high rated players already in my club. It's completely SBC, and I've only played seven games with him. I haven't got my value for money yet to the point where I'd probably rather continue to use him than go with that Fafana free card. So don't get me wrong, I, I see the benefits in going for him, but for me, is it personally worth going for him? 
I'm not too sure because I don't know. As good as he is, would I notice much of a difference between Forfana bringing him in for one of these two players? Probably not. The very similar stats overall. Um, so I do like the subjective cards. I really do. Uh, and if he's an upgrade to your team, then, then, then fantastic. But I don't personally think he would be much of an upgrade to my team personally. But um, that's what we're going to finish up this video for you guys. Um, so, yeah, it's a really, really cool card. You know, provides fantastic links. But just for me, I don't know if it's quite worth my time personally. But, um, but yeah, on the whole, still a really cool objective. And I'm glad they've actually put him in as another objective to, you know, to be able to work towards. We've had quite a few of these academy players um, during the second week of, uh, of, you know, of this Future Stars promo, which I'm a big fan of. So I'm really, really happy that EA have done that and hopefully might even get maybe one more before the promo finishes on Friday. But anyway guys, thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you guys later.